Some of you may or may not know this, but I've started my own pest control company completely from scratch, and one of the biggest problems that I have ran into is just the simple fact that no one in this area knows that me and my pest control company exist. I've got a great service to offer, right? I've got all the equipment, I've got all my years of great pest control knowledge, and I have great customer service, but no one knows about catchy pest solutions. No one knows about Dan the Bugman. So my, one of my biggest problems has just been like, how do I get people to know that I exist? So in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly what I've done. Um, just yesterday, I walked around to all the neighbors around my neighborhood and I knocked on their door, I introduced myself, and I offered to do a completely free quarterly pest control service for them. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to start doing nine houses completely for free, just nine houses that are close to me. I'm not going to be taking my truck, I'm just going to be walking and doing the initial quarterly pest control service for all of my neighbors. So the reason I've done this is for a couple reasons. One, I just want to be a good neighbor. Two, I want to help get my name out there. Doing these services for free isn't going to cost me a ton of time or money, but it is going to let all these people know and all of their friends, hopefully if I do a good job, they're going to tell their friends that I have a great pest control company, and hey, my neighbor has a great pest control company. He does my service for free. Why don't you use him? So there's a little bit of networking there, and my neighbors don't know this yet, but one of my plans is that in a few months after the service, I'm going to ask them to leave me reviews on the internet if they think I do a good job. So that's going to help spread awareness for my company as well. It's going to take a couple hours and cost probably less than $100 worth of products. And enough talking, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to be doing a few different things for all my neighbors today. I'm gonna to use my Jatco backpack sprayer. I'm gonna use a hand sprayer. I'm gonna mix up some Bifin IT inside the backpack sprayers. We're gonna put out some rodent baits because one of my neighbors is having a mice problem. I'm going to sweep their spider webs down and wasp nests, stuff like that. All right, we're gonna fill this bad boy up with the Bifin IT. Frankly, it's a great bang for your buck. Four gallon backpack sprayer. So we need four fluid ounces of the Bifin IT. Just mix it up right here. Uh, this is just one fluid ounce measurement at a time. So that was one. I'm just going to put this bad boy on. It probably weighs about 40 pounds and just walk around, spray the foundation. <laughs> so I've got the backpack sprayer on. I've got my wand here. And yes, we're just going to spray three feet out and three feet up. And I'm just going to go all the way around their houses, getting the landscaping, and just keep on going until I run out of product. Even though these services are free, I'm still going to be sending my neighbors appointment records, and I'm doing that through BrioStack. It's just going to email them as soon as I complete the appointments, so I don't have to manually keep up with their schedule or send them appointment records. BrioStack does all of that for me. One of the tricks I've learned with backpack sprayers is that after I mix in the concentrate with the water, I can just put it on my back and shake it in order to mix up the product. There's a lot of repetitive motion here. So I'm just going to put you down until I finish up the outside backpack sprays. And then we'll be back in a few minutes. Time for a refill. <sighs> Man, I kind of get out of breath. I just walking and walking and walking and walking. So some people may think that doing a thousand dollars worth of service for your neighbors that's a lot of money you know but in my opinion i think it's all going to pay off because i know my neighbors well first of all i just want to have a good relationship with with my neighbors and they're going to love hundreds of dollars worth of free services so much that they're going to tell all their friends so that's my big plan i just finished half the houses uh, i got five houses down i've got four to go some of my neighbor's houses have crawl spaces while others are just on a concrete slabs. But either way, I'm always sure to spray where the crawl space entrance is and also down on the ground like that. Now I'm going around and hitting the eaves, knocking down spider webs and wasp nests. I've been working for about an hour now and filming Filming takes longer too. If it was just me not filming, I would have probably been further done by now. That's what we're looking to knock down here, guys. These are just old 
wasp nests. I, obviously inactive, it's February, but they're still unsightly. And I'm not going to be able to reach to the top of some of these two-story houses. Oh man, there's a big wasp nest up in there. Check it out, okay. So, like I said, I didn't used to do this. I had always just told myself that knocking down spider webs and wasp nests wasn't really a good service because they can build them back almost immediately after you knock them down. Even though it takes a lot longer, it doesn't use any product. It makes the customer much, much more happy. I think it's going to differentiate my company and just help my customers realize that this is the best pest control service that they can choose which is the goal of my company. I have set up an Amazon storefront where you can see everything that I own. <laughs> Basically, uh, all of my work equipment, all of my recording equipment, all of my pest control products, and I even threw in some personal items for some of you people that wanna see some of my personal stuff. <laughs> nothing, nothing crazy in there, but yeah, personal stuff. Uh, just check out the Amazon storefront. I spent a lot of time just finding all the products that I use. For example, this broom is in there. This pole is in there. What else is in here? These gloves are in there. My recording equipment, my mic right here, that's all in there. So check out the Amazon storefront. One of my neighbors was complaining about mice. So I'm just peeking my head underneath the crawl space here. <laughs> he told me actually yesterday that he said this is one of the worst crawl spaces he's ever seen because he has a career that I don't remember what it was, but he's in crawl spaces also. So I didn't really believe him, but now I do. It is really, really nasty in here. All the insulation is falling down. There are mice droppings everywhere. Mice chewing holes in the insulation. And I mean, there's an old mice bait station. I didn't know it was gonna be this bad. So I'm actually gonna have to go back and get my crawl suit, crawl in there get my respirator, put some of these mice bait blocks where I think the activity is and hopefully that'll get the mice under control. But this is a little more than I bargained for, but hey, that's okay. That's just part of the deal. The next and last thing I'm going to do is just walk around with my hand sprayer here and just do some kind of spot treatments, a little more targeted around the windows and doors. Another cool thing that BrioSec does is on the appointment record when they're sent, the first thing that the customer sees when I complete a service is a link to leave a review for our company on Google or Facebook or whatever link I want it to go to. And that's great because I don't have to ask my neighbors to leave me Google reviews, even though I really, really want them to leave me these reviews. I I don't wanna ask, I don't wanna see me. I'm going to ask eventually if they don't review me uh, on their own accord, but I would like for them to just kind of do it on their own without me having to ask or seem weird. So. BrioSec sends them the appointment records and hopefully, hopefully each of them will click and leave me a glowing review on Google and that will help me get new pest control customers. Another great thing about what I did today was I got a lot of experience just knocking on some of these people I've never met before, knocking on strangers doors and selling them, albeit a free service, but selling them my pest control service. And that's one of the things I'm going to be doing when I'm trying to grow my company is doing residential door knocking. That is going to be the end of today's video. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you again very, very soon. Peace.